Hello everyone. It's been a while since we've done I've done any videos on the Triumph. As you can see, my brother and I have been hard at work in between easy days not working. So we've taken a week well, every three to four weeks. And we hit it a pretty good lick. Got all the sheet metal hung, pretty well gapped. Need a little bit more on the doors, but I got to get the uh, weather stripping in first. Which we've started that procedure a little bit. We have uh, test drove the car around the block. My brother made a video of that. Some of you have seen that, I'm sure, on Facebook. The windshield frame stuck in. And we did a little bit of a lull, so I thought I'd lay out the front stripes. Got some constructions here. Snap me a center line down the hood. This little arc at the front it says I have about an eight inch radius, so it made me a little template. And I got the first of the uh, tape lines put in, the blue line. Everything builds backwards from it towards the rear of the car. So we'll see what we can do and I'll shoot a little video. Alright, we start the process. And as you'll see through this, uh, laying these stripes out is really tedious and kind of slow, especially on the uh, the hood here with all of the bumps and hills and valleys makes it quite challenging and these 70 plus year old eyes is, doesn't help the situation all that much either. So I'll be speeding up most of the process and only showing uh, oh, I don't know, maybe a third of uh, what was involved because it's pretty much the same. Try to keep the line straight try to keep the tape from lifting in the valleys and keep the lines even as you go so we'll see how it does And as you can see here, a big part of the process is keep trying to find the end of that tape. Well, I made a special trip down to my brother's house while his Cobra is out of the garage. We decided to paint the stripe, so I'm helping him 
lay out the stripe on the hood. We're just about done laying the stripe out. He's just putting the finishing touches in the corners. And in the next video, it'll have a silver stripe. Later. All right, the magic is happening. Spring on the silver stripe. I'm not going to record too long because I don't want to get paint on my camera lens or my phone. But yeah. Looking like a stripe. Later. All right. The stripe is done. Came out really well. I'm happy with the silver I selected. Brother did an awesome job painting it. So check that off the list. <laughs> Later. Well, we jumped here to the completion of the painting portion. It was just too tedious to kind of film laying out all the stripes. Just more of the same of the same. So, got her nice and silvered up. Next step will be getting unmasked and move on to the next part of the project. Here's the unmasking. Not a whole lot to it. Uh, the only teaching portion I guess you would say was it's when peeling the tape back I fold it back on itself and pull it to where it cuts the edges when it goes by instead of trying to lift the paint off. It uh, can save the day. I'm going to get this off and uh, this area that's on the edge of the hood. Of course didn't get much paint because the hood was closed so we're only going to partially unmask it and then remask it and paint the edges. And we have the uh, hood all remashed up. Got the uh, little piece of tape there on the top of the hood over the area I'm painting that overhangs and it makes a to where the paint kind of feathers itself when it goes in and there won't be a harsh line. Doesn't need much, just a couple coats. And that part will be a nice little piece of detail that makes a big difference when you open the hood. Here's the final unmasking. That's where the magic happens. Gets the little details and makes the stripe a stripe. All in all, the stripe come out pretty nice. project. We now have the official 250 stripe on our little green 250. Let's add a mass accent. A little bit of light to help show the dark. Let it dry for a week or two 
And then when I do the final buffing on the hood, to get rid of the little marks we put on during assembly, I'll be able to kind of smooth and round over the edges of the paint line and make it really stand tall. So I hope you like this. Once again, my brother and I, thank you for watching.